हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल और आज हम आपके लिए जो लेके आए हैं इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एक्साइटिंग फ्लैगशिप स्मार्टफोन्स व्हिच इज आउट राइट नाउ इज द एप्पल आईफोन 15 प्रो अब मैं इस फोन को सिक्स वीक से यूज कर रहा हूँ और दिस विल बी अ कंप्लीट ऑनेस्ट रिव्यू अबाउट द डिवाइस सबसे पहले लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द अनबॉक्सिंग एक्सपीरियंस एप्पल जैसा कि हम जानते हैं कि कीप्स देयर पैकेजिंग वेरी सिंपल बट एट द सेम टाइम वेरी क्लासी Now that we've unboxed the phone, the phone is right in front of us, and this is a very beautiful color. इससे पहले Apple has never launched a color like this. Uh, this color is called the Natural Titanium. Let's talk about what's new in this phone. The first thing we know is the new Titanium frame, uh, converted from the stainless steel of iPhone 14 Pro. अब ये फोन आ रहा है Titanium body में. इसके दो फायदे हैं. सबसे पहले इट्स सो मच मोर लाइट एन वेट अगर पेपर पे देखा जाए तो आईफोन 14 प्रो का वेट था 206 हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स ग्राम बट द आई फोन फिफ्टीन प्रो कम्स इन एट वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी सेवन ग्राम विच इज नॉट टू मच ऑन पेपर बट ये मैं आपको बता सकता हूँ कि वंस यू होल्ड दिस फोन कम्पेयर टू जब मैं अपना आई फोन फोर्टीन प्रो पर लेता था तो दिस इज सो मच मोर लाइट एन ये बहुत सिग्निफिकेंट फर्क एक फील होता है and the brushed finish on the side bezels if you can see here uh, they're beautifully done beautifully finished by apple bahut acche se finish kiya hai unhone one thing i do notice is ki ye titanium frame is catching a lot of fingerprints wo stainless steel pe bhi tha but this one is catching a lot of fingerprints but yes uh, this color natural titanium they won't be too much visible on this one but Uh, if you go for a more darker color, which is like the blue titanium or the black titanium, uspe you will see a lot of fingerprints showing on this one. The next thing is finally, finally coming to the iPhone is the USB Type C. अब थोड़ा सा अजीब लग रहा है एकदम से USB C को देखते हुए iPhone के ऊपर, because we're so used to the Lightning port. और ये वो चीज़ थी जो थोड़ा एप्पल को डिफर करता था दूसरे स्मार्टफोन से बट फाइनली वी हैव द टाइप सी ऑन द एप्पल आई फोन फिफ्टीन प्रो इसके साथ एक बड़ी फैंसी सी केबल भी आती है आपको बॉक्स में मिल जाती है एंड दिस इज़ अ ब्रेडेड केबल यू कैन सी हेयर इन द कैमरा एंड द केबल इज जस्ट ब्यूटिफुल देव मास्टर दिस यू एस बी सी के साथ बहुत फायदे मिलने वाले हैं देर इज़ अ लॉट ऑफ एसेसरीज दैट यू कैन यूज For reference, I have here is now you can use your hard drives with your iPhone 15. Another use for this USB Type C I have here is my old iPhone 14 Pro. Or now, you can use your iPhone 14 Pro or yeah, any other device, any other iPhone. You can charge it using your iPhone 15 Pro. So you basically just plug in the Type C here in the iPhone 15, and you plug in the Lightning port in your iPhone 14 Pro. and here you can see your phone's charging now and uh, this is yet another feature of the iPhone 15 Pro is se aap accessories bhi charge kar sakte hain like your AirPods you can charge your smartwatch up for reference i have here is my iPhone 14 Pro ye phone was a very good phone i've spent a year with this isme mujhe koi problems nahi diye the one thing that was an issue though was its sharp edges and the stainless steel body जब इसको मैं पकड़ता था तो इट वॉज वेरी अनकम्फर्टेबल इन दी हैंड बिकॉज ऑफ द शार्प एजेस वो कम्फर्टेबल फील नहीं थी इसकी अनटिल एन एस यू हैव अ केस ऑन इट बट नाउ वेन आई होल्ड दिस आई फोन फिफ्टीन प्रो इन माई हैंड तो एप्पल ने अब एजेस को कर्व कर दिया है द फोन इज मच लाइटर एंड इट्स वेरी सॉफ्ट वेरी कम्फर्टेबल टू होल्ड इन योर हैंड नाउ लेट्स गो ऑन एंड टॉक अबाउट द ब्रांड न्यू चिप This time Apple has named it different. पहले was the A15 Bionic, the A16 Bionic, but this time Apple is calling it the A17 Pro. Why? I'm speculating that maybe next year say Apple will not be using this chip in their previous models or the base models. A16 Bionic को they used in the base models of iPhone 15, but next year say I don't think they will be using. This Pro chip for the base models like the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus, I think this Pro chip is going to stay only for the Pro models now. One more new thing we have here is the action button. Now, this might not sound like a very big change, 
compared to my iPhone 14 Pro or the previous models here. Pehle agar aapko batao to hamare paas yahan pe hota tha slider and the only purpose for this slider was the ring and silent mode. But now because Apple has given us this action button here, you can see here that we've got so many things that we can do on it. Ab aap dekh sakte hain ki iPhone 15 Pro ki settings mein you get this new option where it says the action button and this is a very fancy animation where you've got your silent mode, you've got your focus mode, camera, torch, voice memo, magnifier and shortcut basically you can set any app on the shortcut and set the action button Alright guys, now let's talk about some camera upgrades coming to the iPhone 15 Pro so just like the iPhone 14 Pro, this time around iPhone 15 Pro maybe there is no upgrade in the ultra wide. It still stays at 12 megapixel. The 2X stays at 12 megapixel or 3XP standard 12 megapixel. Now weirdly enough, there is not a major update in the main camera pix uh, sensor as well. But a slight change is that Apple ne is me different focal lengths add kar diye, the 1X camera, which is the main camera sensor. So if I click on it once, you get 28 millimeters, 35 millimeters, and 24 millimeters. And your standard 12 megapixel say up upgrade ho chuka hai 24 megapixels pe. And you can also turn on raw max for your just like the iPhone 14 Pro 48 megapixel photo. Time lapse, slow mo, cinematic, no upgrades. But a very exciting new feature coming to the iPhone 15 is the Pro Log Video. Professional photographers and videographers can capture much more detail into this video, add a wide range of colors, and edit it completely. Now, comparing this phone with my iPhone 14 Pro, um, I've used the iPhone 14 Pro for more than a year now, and I have to upgrade if you have an iPhone 14 Pro or a 13 Pro. To be honest, I don't think it's necessary. There is no difference. Nahi hai. Uh, yes, minor differences like bezels are very thin now. You've got the action button, the new titanium frame, uh, comfortable feel hai definitely. But also, I don't think these changes are worth an upgrade. To be honest, but if you want to, definitely you can. Isi ke saath, these were my thoughts on the iPhone 15 Pro. I really do love the phone. It's amazing what Apple is doing. Um, I think they could have added more technology into it. Abhi wo bahut slow release kar rahe hai technology ko. Maybe we will get to see more action in the iPhone 16. But for now, these minor changes are there. It's good. Some people like it, some don't, some want it more. But overall, a very good phone. Hai. Do let me know what you think about these changes as well, or what do you think? Okay, is it worth an upgrade from an iPhone 13 or an iPhone 14? In the comments below. And uh, do like, subscribe, and we'll definitely be back with more videos like this for you. Thank you.